hello Williams class. For your maths lesson today, the arithmetic is 12 times 12, 17 times 9. What is 259 as a Roman numeral? 8 ninths take away 2 ninths. 6 times 9, 42 divided by 6, tenth of 70. 7,643 plus 2,534. 6,742 take away 1,241. 48 divided by 4. Your answers 12 times 12 equals 144. 17 times 9 equals 153. What is 259 as a Roman numeral? C, C, L, I, X. Eight ninths take away two ninths equals six ninths. Six times nine equals 54. 42 divided by six equals seven. Tenth of 70 equals seven. 7,643 plus 2,534 equals 10,177. Couldn't read my writing. 6,742 take away 1,241 equals 5,501. 48 divided by 4 equals 12. Our learning objective for today's maths lesson. Can I subtract fractions from whole amounts? So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to use a bar model to subtract a fraction from a whole number. A starter activity for you. Which one is different? Off you go. So the way in which I would work this out is by looking at each um, fraction separately. So if I look at this one, 10 tenths, that I'm going to change to an equivalent fraction. And the equivalent fraction is not a fraction at all. It's rather a whole number. 10 over 10 is the same as it being one because 10 parts of 10 parts has been shaded. So that's a whole entire bar that has been shaded in. So that's equal to one. So that's that fraction. This as a fraction would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would be eight eighths, which is also the same as one. So that one's been identified. This as a fraction would be three thirds because three out of three has been shaded in, which is also equal to a one. Interesting. Seven sevenths. Seven sevenths is also equal to a one because seven parts of seven parts has been shaded in. So that's equal to a whole part being shaded in. Um, six thirds. Now, when you simplify that, the way to simplify it is by doing six divided by three. So six divided by three, which is equal to two, which is a whole number. So that's a whole number as well. 12 over 12 can be simplified to one. Interesting. That leaves us with eight ninths. Ooh, eight ninths can't be simplified. And eight ninths is also not the same as any whole number. So it's this fraction that is different because eight ninths is not um, a whole number. When you try and change it, like we've changed the other fractions, this one can't be changed. So that one is different. How could you use a bar model to find the missing number? Right, so have a little think about how we can do this. And can you tell me the missing number here? We have 10 tenths, take away something tenths equals six tenths. What would be the answer here? It would be four because 10 take away four would give you six. So that's how you work out the missing numbers there. You figure out what number you have to take away from 10 in order to get six. Can you have a go at working these out for me? Find the missing numbers. So 11 elevenths take away what elevenths would give you eight elevenths? It would be three elevenths because 11 take away three would give you eight. Next one, four fourths take away three fourths equals one fourth because you take away the numerators four and three to give you one over four. Last one, eight eighths take away what eighths would give you four over eight? 
it would be four because eight take away four gives you four out of eight. Very well done for carrying on with me so far. You're doing fantastic. Now, a worded question. Fern uses a number line to calculate the difference between two and two quarters. Describe what she does. So what you can see here is Fern's drawn a number line, or she's using this number line. She's identified the smaller number out of the two. So you've got two to work with and you've got two quarters. The smaller one out of that is two quarters. When you're looking at a whole number and a fraction, most of the time it's the fraction that's the smaller number. So she's found a smaller number, which is two quarters, and the number line tells us as well that two quarters is smaller than two because two quarters comes first in the number line. So she's found it and she's now jumped until she's gotten to two, as you can see here. So that's how she's used the number line to calculate the difference. She started with the smaller number and then she's worked her way upwards until she's found the bigger number there. So what would the answer be then? What is the difference between two and two quarters? If we have a look at the number line, the number line is going upwards by a quarter. So let's jump each time and add a quarter. So this is one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters, five quarters, and six quarters. So six quarters looks like this, but we're not going to leave the fraction like that because the numerator should always be smaller than the denominator. Top heavy, which means the numerator being bigger than the denominator, just does not work as a fraction. So how would you change this? it would be changed to, or if you've forgotten how to do it, figure out how many times four goes into six. Four goes into six one time. What's the remainder? Two, good. And the denominator does not change. So the difference between two and two quarters is one and two quarters. Now use any method you like to answer these questions. Off you go. Let's go through the answers. Three take away eight quarters equals three quarters. Five take away four fifths equals 21 fifths. Two take away four ninths equals 14 ninths. And two take away 10 elevenths equals 12 elevenths. Next question. India says two take away two sixths equals four sixths. Is India right? explain your answer. Now the way in which I work this out is as follows. Two as a whole number, if I want to write it as a fraction, I'm going to write it as two over one. Because this sign that creates a fraction is also known as division, boys and girls. And two divided by one will give us two, which is our whole number here. So as a fraction, it's going to be written as two over one. Then I'm going to write out the rest of the question, which is two over six equals four over six. Now, there's something missing. Here the denominator is six and here the denominator is six, but here the denominator is one. So we need to change it so it's six as well. How do I get from one to six? I multiply one by six. So now I've changed the denominator and remember, what I do with the denominator, I do to the numerator as well. So if I've multiplied one by six, then I also have to multiply two by six, which is 12, fantastic. So our new way of showing the two is 12 over six. And now because the denominators are the same, we can take fractions away because they have to be, they have to have the same denominator, otherwise we can't subtract. So what's 12 six take away two six? Do 12 take away two first, remember the numerators? That's 10 and the denominator does not change. And that's six. So actually India is wrong. The answer is not four six as she said. The answer is actually 10 six. So here you could write India is not right because, and then you could write underneath all of this working out, but I'm just going to write um, two, take away two sixths equals 10 sixths, comma, not 
four, six, full stop. So that is how I worked it out. If you worked it out another way and you still got the same answer, then that's absolutely fine. Stick to the method that works for you. Your independent tasks. You have four questions. Off you go. And when you unpause, you will see the answers. Good luck. Here are your answers. Question number one, use the bar models to help you subtract the fractions. This is my favorite method, boys and girls, I have to say. Part A, two take away two thirds equals one and a third. Next question, B, two take away five thirds equals a third. Question number two, A, eight eighths take away five eighths equals three eighths. Part B, one take away five eighths equals three eighths. Part C, two take away five sevenths equals one and two sevenths. And part D, four take away five sevenths equals three two sevenths. Question number three, part A, three take away seven tenths equals two and three tenths. Part B, four take away seven twelfths equals three and five twelfths. Then question number four, a worded question. Teddy has four litres of juice and three jugs. Teddy pours three quarters of a litre into each jug. How much juice does Teddy have left? Teddy would have three and a quarter litres left. Do not forget your unit of measurement. If you just write three and a quarter, I don't know what you're talking about, but if you put the litre, then I know exactly what you mean and you are talking about the orange juice. So that is all for your maths lesson for today, boys and girls. It was all about subtracting fractions from whole numbers. Take care. I will see you very, very soon in the next video. Bye.